Hi and welcome to Quickies. Today's tutorial is a quick step-by-step -step explanation of how to set up a multicam edit in Adobe Premiere. As usual, we're going to assume you have a basic working knowledge of this software, but if we end up covering something that you aren't familiar with, please check out our other tutorials to see if we've covered it. And if we haven't, let us know in the comments what you need to see or what you'd like to have us cover in the future. If you find this tutorial helpful, please like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. Both of these actions help us grow the channel and that enables us to spend more time making tutorial videos that you want to see. And now let's get started with Adobe Premiere Multicam Edit. So the first thing we're going to do on this tutorial is obviously open Adobe Premiere. I've already got mine open so we don't have to wait for it to load. I'm simply going to bring it to the foreground. I also already have a session set up. If you're not familiar with how to do that, there's tons of tutorials online and we'll have a set up your session tutorial on this channel as well. So please look for that or let us know in the comments um, if there's something else you'd like to see. So the next thing to do is we're going to import our footage. I already have it standing by. You can literally click and drag into your session. Now they're there in the bin. And what I'm going to do next is drag them one at a time onto the timeline. I'm going to start with my camera two, only because I didn't record anything on camera one. Then I'm going to do camera three and I'm going to do camera four. And you can see I just sort of drag these into random position. And that's because I'm going to show you how to synchronize them. To synchronize, we're going to highlight them all, right click, choose synchronize. I'm going to do it by audio and channel one. You could also do this by mix down if syncing by channel one gives you any issues or errors. Click OK and boom, they're now all perfectly synchronized. The next thing to do is decide, do we need to keep all these tracks? In my case, I don't. All the audio tracks were there for other than track one was for synchronization purposes. I captured audio on camera one, I captured audio on camera two, and of course, right here on my microphone. Now that I'm synced, I can mute the other two. Mute, mute, and turn off the targets. Now, our next step is to encapsulate these three different camera angles into one editable timeline. Highlight them all, right click and choose nest. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine uh, multicam sequence. Click OK. And now you can see we have a single editable timeline. What I'm going to do is set my in point and my out point just to make editing quicker and easier. Um, that's done with the I key and the O key. And now what I need to do is right click on the multicam sequence, choose multi-camera and click enable. You can see that I'm still only seeing a single output in the program window, but that's a simple fix. We need to click on the toggle multicam button, which is this button right here. Now, if you don't see that button, you can add it simply by clicking on the plus, uh, the button editor, finding the button and dragging it down onto your window. Uh, and there you can see I now have my program, which is on the right, and I have my three different camera angles on the left. So what's great is now I can click record, and when I hit play on the timeline, or play and then record, now I can start choosing my camera angles with the mouse simply by clicking on the angle I want in the left side of the multicam window. You can see that the selected shot is colored in red. And now when I hit stop, you can see that my choices were actually reflected as edits in the timeline. It's that simple. You can do this over and over and over again. Take it back to any point you want on the timeline. Hit play and record and start selecting. Another great way is to use shortcut keys. So when I hit record and play it, I can hold control and hit one or two or three. And once again, once I stop it, those choices are now uh, referenced as edits in the timeline. Next great point is turning on rolling edits. You can see this right here, rolling edit tool. If it's not showing, you simply click and hold until you have your choices. And now when I come down to an edit, if I realize that edit was too early or too late, I can simply click and drag, and that will change the point that the edit takes place. 
It's that simple. That's how you set up a workflow in Adobe Premiere for a multicam edit. I hope this tutorial was useful. And if it was, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. It really helps us grow the channel and allows us to spend time making these tutorials for you. Let us know in the comments what you'd like to see for the next tutorial. And from all of us here at Quickies, thanks. And we'll see you next time.